the combined arms operation is here. So let's check out and see what we have to offer for us, for us, us some gamers. So we have the combined arms pass here. This pass will work differently than previous events as an operation has 20 tiers of things you can unlock right here. Most of it, you do earn an entire armor set for the Rock Shasta core, which is great. Some elements will be cross core, like the helmets and visors. Though what makes this different is that there is a premium pass when it comes to the operation. If you buy into the 500 credits for the pass one, it makes this pass permanent, so it will not expire after it goes away in, in 34 days. You do earn the gray hunter coating with this, which you can see right here, which is kind of tough to see because it's so small on the screen. You can't really preview it because, well, you haven't purchased it. So it's not in your customization. You can look in the armory, but that's what it kind of looks like. It's kind of like a gray, a darker gray, black with a little bit of an orange kind of accent to it. There is a bit of a pattern to it. I don't know if it really comes through on YouTube, but there is that for 500 credits. You get this instantly. There is also an option as well. If you buy into the pass here, you can just buy out the pass outright right now for 2000 credits because it's 20 tiers. So that kind of makes sense if you just don't want to bother grinding out the entire thing. But you can do this all for free by just playing the game, which we'll get into a little bit later. But let's check out what's everything that's in this pass. Like I said, we unlock the Grey Hunter. If you buy into it, I think I might pass on this. So you get a backdrop, XP boost. Uh, you get a bunch of these different type of name plates right here as well, which actually do look kind of awesome on your character's uh, nameplate there, so that's something to take in consideration. You get your first chest piece at level 5, an XP boost, you do have this spiral effect backdrop as well. You have another nameplate for the longsword. These actually look kind of nice, honestly. This is the first time I've seen a nameplate, I'm like, I actually might rock this, but my nameplate, yeah, I have a little personal touch to it. You get some knee pads here for the armor set that you unlock through playing this through this pass right here. The watery grave coating here, which actually looks kind of nice. That kind of looks cool. I like that one a lot. That's nice. I like that little look right there. You got the XP boost, another nameplate, another nameplate right there. You have the wrist attachment for the armor set. You do have this coating for your vehicles. This is a multi-use coating right here. Looks like the wheels are a little different color as well. Which looks kind of nice, a little bit of wear and tear on it. That's a bit of more new customization you can, options you might have now when it comes to vehicle coatings, which is really cool. This actually looks nice. I might rock it a little bit. XP boost, you have a new visor, which will be cross core. I'm kind of curious to see how this would look on a large EVA style helmet, but that looks kind of cool right there. Then you have the warped sky coating, just kind of purple and dark purple right there. And then you get to the end right here, which you get the shoulder pads, which is tier 19, which do look awesome. And then you also get the helmet scorn which is also multi-core but mainly for the rock shasta and also get the attachment along with it as well right here next we always got to talk about the shop with these weekly updates and there might be a little bit of contention within the community here because again there are more armor sets that are going to be tied to the shop here and this one looks to be bringing in some like halo 4 halo 5 style armor sets in a classic pilot helmet that would be for reach armor set so let's check it out here so the combined arms event pack here you get what's technically what they say what they get 39 items technically but more reduced actual items will count it out actually you get the sky marcher helmet this kind of looks like something you'd see in like in halo 5 or halo 4 but it looks kind of nice i'll switch the screen here so you don't mind what came does not get in the way there you get some shoulder pads along with it as well and then you also have this helmet attachment which actually looks kind of nice with it knee pads right there as well and then a different type of customization there for the belt or wrist attachment you do get this coating here which is kind of just red blue and gray with a little bit of carbon fiber accent to it yeah not really my thing but there you go this is where i think people might get a little spicy this is the pilot helmet that we've known from halo reach right it's one of the best helmets within the series i would say in my opinion and sadly this is tied behind a shop purchase right here which again reselling classic armor sets that we've had previously to unlock within uh, previous halo games to be put into purchases is a little bit of a touchy subject i know but i get it as well when it comes to this get the shoulder pads there utility pack and it's just like a yellow square orangey square thing i wish it would put like a little more detail on that to make it look like it's like an actual like data pad or something that'd be kind of cool different type of chest piece right there which eh, it's kind of up to you if you like that this coating is crazy looking. This looks like something that it's like think of the map prism as a armor coating. And this is kind of what it basically looks like. It's kind of cool. Actually, I like it a lot. I don't think I'll buy into it, but it's pretty awesome choice. If you guys are into that kind of stuff, there's the visor. 
You also have this coating, the papaya dust, which is kind of clean. I'm liking it. It definitely like, you know, it's just yellow, gray and black, but it just like really defined color edges on it. And I really like that. But I already have similar coating, so I think I might pass on this as well. We have the Hivebreaker Bunyip right here, if that's how you pronounce it correctly. You have a sniper rifle model, which is like the Halo 3 style sniper rifle model. So we, this is all like we've had previously in the last weeks of the shop as well. So nothing really new here. But again, if you're so inclined, there's that option for you. I'm thinking I might pass on this one as well. You have the Sky Marcher and the Pilot bundles separated from the main bundle, so that's good. You can at least pick out individual items. You still have the Combat Evolved Mark V Armor Kit, which, yeah, I did buy into, which, and also the Transgressor still in here. The dailies right here are just kind of like your typical customization stuff. Nothing really too crazy here. The big thing you get to play around with with this event is going to be the Halo 3 Refueled Playlist, recreated maps from Halo 3 into a singular playlist here. Let's check out the options, what you have to offer. So you have Slayer for all the maps right here. So you have the Narrows remake, the Guardian remake, Critical Dew Point, which is the new map created by Forger Arthur Bloodshot. Awesome guy. You have a Pit remake, which looks more like the Pit. <laughs> Cliffside, which is basically Lockout or Blackout, if you want to call it from Halo 3. Isolation from Halo 3, Domicile, which is actually Construct from Halo 3 as well, and High Ground. So like I said, the modes you get to play on it are Slayer, you have Oddball, CTF, Land Grab, King of the Hill, Strongholds, and for only high ground, one flag CTF. The big thing about these Halo 3 refueled maps is that they're actually reimaginings and some are straight up remakes. If you want to see how these maps play out, I suggest subscribing and check out tomorrow's video. So thank you all for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.